Okay, we're here on site to do a install in ground for those that that uh, want to do that. This is the process. We're going to kind of walk through it step by step uh, through the video. We'll stop, maybe make comments as we go. But the basic idea is you're digging a 12 inch hole or wide by three feet deep. So let's begin there and we'll see how it goes. set the holes position of 12 inches sometimes you can use a home hardware bucket as a guide this gives you a good starting point in this situation we're using the little beaver but this sets the line lines up the hole have your hole dug you want to check the depth and you use this ground sleeve which is what this hole will slide into to check that you see this is good depth so you want to make sure you leave enough room at the bottom for gravel to allow any water that gets through the pole to drain out so now we're going to allow a little bit of space the holes a little bit on the narrow side for me so we're going to expand it a bit to 12 inches now that we've done pre-dug the hole but we need to keep it at a three foot depth at minimum. and uh, we'll use that to mix the cement. You don't need a whole lot of water, so one bucket should do the trick. That's a good start, let's see how that goes. The plan is here, I don't want it flush with the ground, so I want it slightly above usually a finger to two fingers above ground. So this board allows me to work a little faster by seeing the actual height of the ground sleet above the ground. Okay, so that's why, how I'm using the board. It's a little bit of a guide, so it makes things move a bit better. If you zoom down, you can see it's kind of like that. That's within range of where I want it to be. Naturally, I put the sleeve in the center of the hole. now that we have it wide enough and the gravel in place and the sleeve sticking in the gravel with the bolt at the lower end um, we're gonna start putting adding the cement important thing at the beginning is as you add the water and the cement you need to mix it sort of pudding like um, but keep it keep checking the level so that halfway through you can probably uh, let it harden a bit before you continue the install thing at the beginning I sort of dump extra cement in there to give it um, myself a little more to work with and it's easier for leveling if you have more substance to work with so that's what I'm doing now we're good to go this is your stir stick <laughs> Thank you. 
Got to get all the air pockets out sometimes, so you do have to mow it around, po poke it around without moving or disturbing the sleeve. You can zoom in right through the center. You'll see the bolt is in place. So that's what the pole sits on. Technically, as you've seen, we used any type of gravel as work. Technically, the directions say pea gravel, but I've used half inch, quarter inch stone. They all drain, so it's good to go. I am using a post set, which means you just mix it in the hole. Less cumbersome when you have to take the regular cement, mix it into the barrel, it's such a consistency, and then pour it in. Not sure of your amounts. For this, I can use and control the amounts that I use, so it's called quick set. Technically, it dries in five minutes, which once again means you can do the job in one day, in one shot. Partway through, we'll end up stopping and then having an apple because we need it to, you know, set. Or we'll take a lunch break, coffee break, you know, then let it set. But today, we're just going to keep going. Stir the pudding like the goblins did it and the witches. <laughs> playing a bit at the end <laughs> you know when you were a kid playing with play-doh or mud piles so you're gonna make a form up to the top of the sleeve or at least a couple millimeters off because we are gonna add a security clamp so you sort of taper it up and then sort of support it around it and, and with a little more cement We'll do a final check. Pretty good. Good there. Good there. So, and that's how you install in ground. So, the, yeah, there's some basic things you can add a security clamp and a flash collar. You can see on our accessory page uh, today, I will be adding this, the flash collar. But as you can see, um, with our other pole, put rocks on top of the security clamp so it's out of sight, out of mind. security clamp it'll uh, keep the pole in place and uh, it's nice and subtle and it just fits around your sleeve just like this and then once the pole is in place you can tighten that up and prevent it from being taken out go to ontarioflagandpole.com uh, on our website check us out you know, or contact there if you have any question and uh, you know browse around take a look at our videos and a lot of our pictures it'll explain everything you need to know to install your flagpole in any surface mm -hmm.